Hi, Shafi. Bit grey and grim, but it's all right. It's not doing the leaky thing yet, and the sun is trying to break through. So it's lovely. I mean, it's about about a k and a half from the car park. It's a lot of high open ground. It looks quite good. a Bronze Age landscape on the top of each of these hills all the way around more or less a hill fort and little places and because it's pretty wet and squidgy underfoot oh, oh yeah pretty wet and squidgy underfoot there's certainly tons of history buried right underneath us which is very very cool There are a couple of fences and my absolute pet hate down here at the bottom, which you might not be able to see in the video. That is from a wire fence across. I mean, it's farmer's prerogative to do it, but it just bugs me when people do that across moving water. Uh, but that's me as a kayaker. Beautiful. Even on a rubbish day like this, it's still beautiful. I kind of want to see it in the summer now. It jumps. So you can see the sort of state of the trackway up and over there up to Lennox Bay. It only goes across the moors in the last like two, three hundred meters. So very, very accessible. The whole moorland up here is just amazing. As an old Bronze Age landscape, it's it's just stunning. I think it's definitely worth further investigation going ahead in in the future. So, um, so what have I been doing today? I've been teaching a bit of map reading, brushing up mine, because it's been quite a long time since I've done any micro navigation, uh, and just reskilling myself on that. Exploring. That's what I've been doing today. Civilization. Civilization. Wilderness. So quiet. It's beautiful. Walking in places like this is always, for me, amazing, even if it is just a little out and back around on a track to a waterfall or something like that, you know, or up to a view spot or just up to a cairn or a roundhouse or a or for anything, because just getting out into the hills, I always feel very, very lucky. You know, there's always something very special in places like this. I, mean, I will always, always love the North Umbria National So much history, the first kings of England. further away in the distance over on this one there are there are Iron Age settlements Bronze Age settlements up in the hills it's, uh, it's an incredible place it's, it's mind-blowing the, the history and the heritage is right underneath your feet so many of you guys that like and follow my page and um, have supported wildfire for so long so many of you live within you know an hour 
half of this incredible place. If you ever want to come up and go for a walk and have a look around, you know, just give me a shout and I'll take you out and show you what a beautiful place Northumberland National Park really is.